Majority of those absorbed for training are women and young girls, most of whom are school dropouts. The training of about 60 San and Ochiherero speaking youth and women was necessitated by a lack of qualification and skills in the community. When you see the recruitment of uh, um, NDF, I was not happy, I was uh, disappointed. Um, our agreement was uh, uh, they will take to each uh, constituency um, 18. But what happened, they took those who are staying in town more than the, uh, those who are staying um, in rural area. So when we make a follow-up, they said uh, most of those ones who are, who are staying there, they did not qualify. They were checking on the qualification. So for us to add value to, to those ones, we need to educate them for them also to reach where other people are reaching. The free training covers office administration, computer studies, hospitality and tourism. You know, this opportunity, it only comes once. It's not everybody have this opportunity to, to be trained in computer for free, to be trained in administration for free. There is people who are spending money to, to get those certificates. But uh, for them, at least uh, uh, I went to them. I observe how they are behaving and how they are doing. And at least uh, I'm happy that uh, most of them, they make it, they will get their certificate. So, and uh, um, the pity that those ones who fail, it's not the end of the day. We'll try to, to look for other things which can um, add value to their lives. The constituency is home to over 10,000 inhabitants, majority being the marginalized Juan Su and Kung San tribes. Haufiku said the unemployment rate at Tsumkwa stands at 31%. Faith Sankwasam, NPC News, Oshiwarongo.